everybody, this is Gail. Welcome to my channel. Tonight we were going to go see the Christmas lights in Elizabethton, Tennessee. It's going to be probably a pretty short trip, but it should still be fun. Don't forget to smash that like button and give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. All right now, let's go see some lights. Come on. We are going to grab just a quick bite to eat first. I've got the lead on what is supposed to be a great Italian restaurant right here in Elizabethton called Primo's. So if we can be socially distanced, we're going to go check out that restaurant. Yay, social distancing. It took a few minutes for us to make up our minds, but we decided to get house salads to go with our entrees. I had the tomatoes and onions left off of mine, but he didn't. And you can see the delicious garlic knots and the marinara sauce that they brought. These are really good. They taste authentic. They're just really, really good. I hate to say they're better than mine, but they're probably better than mine. This is the ham calzone with some more marinara sauce. And a better shot there. Uh, and what did you get again? Uh, chicken bow tie festival. Mm, yeah. It looks good. Oh, it's hot, huh? Mm -hmm. It's hot. Mm. It is good. Is it? Yeah. You like it? And what is it again? <laughs> uh, chicken festival bow tie with a bow tie pasta cream sauce. It's got tomatoes and bacon and some garlic. And it some, looks great. It's, it is it's really good. It's very good. I feel like a little slice of Brooklyn was just transplanted to Elizabethton. I'm very good, very unexpected to be this good. It's really excellent. So part of what we're doing when we go out is supporting small businesses. So we decided to try dinner out. I wasn't really sure how it was going to go, but they're seating everybody with social distancing. So there's not anybody on this half of the restaurant. But what you need to know is, but what you need to know is, Italian food in the South is just, you, you can usually get good food, but you can't always get great Italian food in the South, and this nails it. Probably the best Italian food I've had in, I don't know when. Um, the owners are from Morocco. There's going to be a change um, in that they're changing into black olive, and they're moving right a couple of doors down into a bigger place with an outside dining area. I'm really looking forward. I'm going to have to come back to Elizabethton in the spring and I'm looking forward to trying them when I get back. I've been really happy. And the total damage for the appetizer, dessert to go, and a great meal, 4304. I've been paying the bill. Right now that we've eaten, it's time to go see some Christmas lights here in Elizabeth. And I hear the downtown area looks fabulous. There we go. The courthouse is part of the Civil War trails. Lights. And this talks about although t Tennessee voted to secede from the Union in June 1861, East Tennessee remained staunchly loyal and the residents of Carter County voted against secession. So hubby here has unearthed some information about the tree behind him and I'm going to let him explain that. Yeah, this is uh, the, the largest decorated uh, Fraser fir in the entire world. The tree itself is the largest Fraser fir in the state of Tennessee and the second largest largest Fraser fir in the in the US. So I think that's pretty cool. Just
This is Carter at Maine, an old southern mansion. Samuel Palatin Carter was born in this house. After attending Washington College in Princeton, he graduated from the U.S. Naval Academy, serving in the Navy until May 1, 1862. He was appointed Brigadier General U.S. Volunteers. His most conspicuous service was a raid into East Tennessee with a cavalry brigade late in 1862. Reveted Major General, he returned to the Navy as a commander, retired as a Commodore in 1881, and was named a Rear Admiral on the retired list in 1882. He is buried in Oak Hill Cemetery in Washington, D.C. And that's the mansion we have right here. This giant monument in the, is in honor of the veterans of all wars, and it's right here in the center of downtown. Up, oh, stealth car, no lights. Hopefully they'll remember in a minute. So the light poles are sponsored for the Christmas lights. And up high over here, we have a sign reading Merry Christmas with a tree in lights. And this is the park down here in downtown Elizabethton. They've got it all decorated. And right over there is the covered bridge. Here we are back at the park in Elizabethton. There's actually street parking. And then on the other side of the park, there is park parking. Of course, you can't see it too well in the dark, but this is a small parking lot. It's over here at the covered bridge. We're going to walk that way. And they've lighted the whole walk right here along the Doe River. Going up to the covered Doe River Bridge. And they parked a truck over here to keep people from driving on the bridge. The Elizabethan covered bridge that we're going to walk over here and see is 134 feet long and it was built in the early 1800s. It's a huge attraction here in Elizabethan, so if you're here, you should come see it. And we're told to dismount bicycles before crossing the bridge. So let me show you something just in case you're here and you're mobility impaired. There is a curb here that is painted bright yellow. Make sure you pay attention to that. If you're not paying attention, it's an easy to step on the other side. And there's a pretty steep drop off right here. So just watch it if you come here. Here we are on the bridge now and you can see it is a wooden bridge. If I had better light, you can see the water down below in between these two beams, in between these beams. The bridge is beautiful with all the lights and you can access it both from the parking lot that I just told you about and there's parking spaces that are on the main street right behind us. We have these bridges right here which probably have a fancy name and I can't think of them right now. Thank you head injury. But you've got these right here Then you've got the boards here on the bottom of the bridge but over here you've got a walking area and you can hold on to this railing on either side and go across the bridge right here it's pretty easy to walk on I didn't have a problem that's what I'm going by everybody's different though as you know but hopefully you won't have a problem either and there are ducks down there. My phone's just not picking them up, but don't make the ducks mad because they will come after you. The ducks, I mean, not the authorities. Oh, that one says, let it snow back there with a snowman. 
I kind of hate that it says that because the mountains of Southwest Virginia tonight are supposed to get seven inches. Can you believe it? It's crazy. Yesterday it was in the 50s. What can I say? This is the street side of the covered bridge, which was behind us when we were standing on the bridge recording. So what did you think about the lights in Elizabethton? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below. I'm in the van doing this closing because it's starting to rain slash snow outside. Totally crazy. But remember, this channel is all about hashtag be bodacious. That means you're not going to let life get in the way of living. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up on the video because that really helps me out with the algorithms. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing it on social media. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter links are down below. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.